Monday. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Still in Indy. Yeah. Just finished getting our MD alignment. And shocker, it was a little off the alignment. Shocker. It wasn't bad. No. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll give Freightliner that, but uh, it was still off. The front was perfect. The front, he said uh, he couldn't have done any better himself. So, but the rears, um, the, and I believe me, uh, talking alignment is like talking electricity and voltage and wattage and ohms. <laughs> it, it's whew, over my head. But he said uh, the rear axle was forward and the by like what sixteenths of an inch or th one thirty-two or something. I think it was sixteenths, but not a whole lot, but it would definitely wear on the tires over time. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, if we would have left it the way it was around 20,000 miles, we'd probably be having to get an alignment done or getting some tires repaired. So, yeah, just like we talked about in the last vlog, just because you buy something brand new does not always mean everything is perfect. Yeah. And that's why only what do we got five a little over five thousand miles right now six thousand miles we decided to get a go ahead and get the alignment checked yeah and it's a good thing we did you know it's yeah. just preventative maintenance yeah now i know a lot of people think well that's a, if it's new it should come perfect and yeah i agree <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in a perfect me. world that believe would happen me. But, believe me i agree yeah you know i mean even our super duty i mean gosh that thing doesn't even have but 2500 miles on it mm -hmm. it's it's got recalls it's you know I've probably got to get an alignment done on that thing it's so do you want to tell them about this place? Because this is the second time we've used them, and they're just... They're awesome. They're awesome. They're awesome. Uh, it's a place in Indiana. You can find them on... If you go to mdalignment.com... Attention. A new important message There she goes. Interrupted again. It's been a while. If you go on mdalignment.com's website and go to locations and pull up Indi Indiana, um, in Indianapolis, it's a place called DTI. That's Dave... What's his name? Dave... Dave... Tom... Tomash Inc. or something. Oh, we'll put it up here because yeah. I'm probably destroying it. <laughs> yeah, probably. We'll leave a link uh, and phone number for their location. They are getting ready to move places next month to go to a better, a bigger shop. But I think they're actually a trucking company here also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have trucks. They have their, the, the, it's a trucking company. They have a shop. But this shop doesn't just work on just their trucks. They do outside stuff, too. So mm -hmm. um, really good place. You yeah. know, they're top of the line. You know, best best MD alignment is the best you can get. So Yeah, I was going to say, what's the difference? Maybe explain a little bit briefly. Like, what's the difference between an MD alignment or just a regular, like, an alignment you go and get at Love's Tire Shop? Well, or it, It's funny. An MD alignment just keeps it simple. It's a simple alignment. It is. They're not using it's all the lasers and computerized, computerized and um, hooking up. Because, I mean, honestly, those things, those laser machines that they, oh, this is what NASCAR uses. This is a state-of-the-art uh, laser alignment. It can be off it, mm -hmm. if it's not calibrated properly and all that. So, you know, sure, their computer might say, uh, oh, it's aligned, but it's not, you know. <laughs> so they keep it simple and they just go back to the basics and use measurements, mm -hmm. true measurements. Yep. And they're they're measuring how far the, the two rear axles are apart from each other on in the back on each side, uh, making sure the truck's running straight. Then they measure the distance distance between the front of the two tires then the back part of the two tires and I don't even know how to do it properly there's tons <laughs> of YouTube videos out there but they take it back to the basics and it's a perfect alignment yeah you know it's yeah and it's cool because we uh <coughs> Jason called last week when we knew we were coming this way to yeah. get in and you know, they said they were going to be really busy today, but they could try to squeeze us in between one and two. We got here around noon, let them know we're here, and they got us right in and out. What did it take? Maybe 30 minutes to do it? Uh, 45 minutes yeah, or so. Yeah, not bad. Not if, bad. If you're going to come here, 
schedule an appointment as far ahead of time as possible because yeah. i mean they're they're busy they're they're mostly working on their own trucks and you know do it doing that stuff but they will get you in yeah so. which is awesome you know a lot of places they'll be like oh we can't fit you until end of the week right, or something so right. yeah we've had really good luck both times we've been here yeah we'll continue to use them there was another the shop i had called here in indiana also it was funny. I called them, set up an appointment, called these guys, set up an appointment. This is when we got it done on the last truck. On the last truck. And the 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 first company I called, they ended up calling me back and canceling my appointment on me and said, <laughs> oh, sorry, we're not going to be able to get to you. Yeah. So luckily, I still had the appointment made for this place. and I'm glad we, we got it here because, like I said, they've, they're really... They've been really good. Really good. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. we uh, before we came here, we stopped at the Speedco by the Flying J so we could yep. get the tire pressure checked. That's yep. all good. Yep. And we are fixing to Deadhead to get closer for our pickup tomorrow. We're about 86 miles from where we're going to be picking up yep and yeah we'll be getting back on the road it's going to be a nice long one but we'll talk about it tomorrow once we're all picked once up once we're all loaded <laughs> you know how we feel about that yeah and it's starting to rain it it's is got starting to cold sprinkle. it is Ugh. so yeah let's knock out these deadhead miles and yeah we'll probably check up with you guys either later today or tomorrow sounds good Happy Tuesday. <laughs> wow. We are picked up and on the road, but still in Indiana. Indiana, yeah. Uh, we <laughs> are heading to California. Woo, 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 woo. First California load in the truck. Yes. I'm excited to head west. Yeah, yeah. We're going to Northern California, but we're going to take the Southern route down through across the 40 just to avoid anything that might be happening across the 80 in Wyoming. And yeah, it's supposed to be cold. Uh, Cheyenne's supposed to get snow tonight or tomorrow. So just, yeah, not worth it. No, I think it adds about, what is, that, is it 100 miles or less than that even? Maybe, yeah, it's, it's not much. It's worth the extra few hundred a few hundred, a few miles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, to I think drive it's an extra to... hundred, hundred and fifty miles or yeah. so. Yeah, so we've got three pieces at just under a thousand pounds. Still a light one. Another light one. <laughs> yeah, and put that double axle to use yet. Or the double box. Oh, we although if we went across the line, I mean, we could test out the wind, but we don't want to get shut down if there's bad weather. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, but oh my gosh, yeah, I'm so excited to go west. Yeah, we're excited. We, uh, we I, have been west since that our last load we did. We deadheaded back to get our truck. Yeah, yeah from California. From California, so. Yeah, so cool. Yeah, excited. It's It started raining here last night. So we got close to our pickup last night at a little hole in the wall, little travel center place. And yeah, it was raining a little bit. It's above freezing though, so that's, yeah. all, that's all that matters. Yeah, dude, you need a hard cut up I on do. here. I <laughs> do. This is afro for me. I, I've noticed enough. every time I my hair grows out this far, my receding hairline's going further back. It's, it, it, it's like slowly working its way back over the years. <laughs> That's what I call that my Gilligan's Island. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's funny. We're gonna get on the road and get going. Not doing our driver swap yet. It's still a little early. It's like 11 o'clock local time. But yeah, I still got a couple more miles I need to drive. Yeah, so. I figured we'd jump on and let you guys know about this load. And yeah, we're head to California. So uh, just real quick for all a lot of the new subscribers, <coughs> we, we don't show a lot of our loading and unloading and... Um, Stuff like that, just mainly Landstar does not want us doing that. The biggest concern is protecting company information. Uh, you know, they don't want, we don't want to share where we pick up our load so you can come steal them. <laughs> no, yeah, it's, 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 it's protecting company information, you yeah, know. Yeah, just, it's, yeah, security. Yeah. Uh, when we know. can do it, we will, yeah. but it, it's yeah. not often. Um, there's a lot of customers that, you know, try to keep, uh, on the DL. A, a lot of places we pick up and deliver do not allow photography or filming. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's, that's another that's, big one. Yeah, we're just lucky they allow the mutts uh, to come yeah, on. Yeah, right, <laughs> I know. Yeah, but we know a lot of you 
that have been following us for a while know that, but we've knew since we've gotten a lot of subscribers over the last week or so. Yeah. Figured let y'all know when we can. Well, we do show, but yeah. it's not very often. So. No. No. <laughs> but yeah, we're excited. Let's get going. I want to get on the road and head west. Let's do it. Happy Wednesday. Happy Hump Day. Hump Day. Hump Rolling day. through New Mexico. Yeah. Uh, we just did our driver swap like. In what? Tucumcari. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's been a whip. <laughs> nice long like, miles. Yeah, we're like, what, 1,200 miles away still? Yeah, about 1,200 miles still. So we should be there tomorrow around. What time is it now? Uh, Noon. 11 local time. Yeah. So it's 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock there. Yeah. So yeah, we'll still be able to make it there at a good time. No load offers yet. We've been watching, haven't seen anything coming out of California. I'll be making some more calls before I lay down. Yeah, Jason's going to fix him and lay down, get him some rest. I'm ready. It was a long night. Did you get in any bad weather or traffic? No, it was just cold. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my my drive was smooth at last night until you took over, and we stopped at uh, TA in uh, Mount Vernon, Missouri, and filled up. That's where we did our driver swap last night, and then we you stopped and filled us up in Amarillo. Yeah, been gloomy out. Yeah. This has been the weather. I'm just glad we're getting this nice long run. See how this girl rides. Yeah. She's doing good. So far, so good. Loving it still. So we filled up one time so far, and our mileage was 10.1. Now, I have been going about 67 miles an hour, so another 1,200 miles. We're bumping it up just so we can get offloaded early enough to still be able to pick something up Thursday or to be able to deadhead somewhere Thursday if we have to to get something picking up Friday so yeah you looked at the truck situation <laughs> not a whole bunch of trucks up there yeah. in California so haven't been seeing a lot coming out of California though either yeah but that yeah. doesn't mean that the just because it doesn't come over the Qualcomm doesn't mean there's not loads out there there could be agents calling trucks directly Usually they don't put them on the Qualcomm unless they don't have somebody to cover it. Right. Or right. It's, a, it's further out, you know, a couple yeah. of days or yeah, a week. Yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's still early. We'll yeah. we'll see. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna lay down. Heather's gonna be uh, babysitting the Qualcomm and knocking out some miles. Yep. Hopefully be. this audio is pretty good. We didn't take too much time when we stopped <laughs> to do our driver swap. I really, really wanted to get a drone flight, but. It was kind of like sprinkling back there, just slight sprinkles, but uh, enough where I didn't want to pop the drone up. But yeah. hopefully we'll be able to get some uh, good drone footage uh, tomorrow, maybe uh, later tonight, we'll see, yeah. we'll see. I don't know if we even said that this, how many miles this trip was, it's almost, it was almost 2,500 miles. Yeah, 2,500 so. miles, nice long run. We love these long ones. Mm. We did have to deadhead for it, though. I don't think we talked about that either. Yeah, well, it was 550 mile deadhead for yeah. how many loaded again? Almost 2,500. 20, 2,500, so not bad. No, not bad at all. Not bad. You go get you some rest and I'll knock out these miles. You gonna do what? I say you go get some rest and I'll knock out some of these miles. All right.
Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Delivery done. In California. In Northern California, and I'm going to bed. Peace, love, and expediting. I'm out. <laughs> oh, man, I'm tired. I've been driving all night. Yeah. And you want to tell them? Oh, my gosh. So yesterday when we were driving, like, the truck seemed a little bumpier than usual. And I was like, well, maybe it's just the road coming out west because we hadn't driven the new truck out this way yet on the 40 because we came the 40. And then this morning we were hearing this like rattling noise and I'm like, what is that? I thought it was the, um, the step for the side doors. No, the Centromatics that they put on the truck were not the right size and they broke. They broke. <laughs> the tubes that go around broke off of the disc that goes on the rim. Yeah. So they were in there rattling. Both sides and the Both front. Both sides. Both sides. So we came to Love's in uh, Lodi, California, and just got new ones put on because, well, Jason called the dealership. They had some outside people do it that I don't know what they, you talked to the guy. They've never done Centromatics before and they thought one size fits all. Yeah. That's So they just put whatever on and. Wasn't the right size. So $250 later for, for us. <sighs> Yeah. And I will be getting my free Centromatics, uh, the correct ones, when we get back to Ohio. So, yeah. Anybody will looking to buy some Centromatics, <laughs> the right ones. Yeah, because of course <coughs> the guy was like, oh, well, when you get back through here, just swing by. And we'll, we can't. We can't drive with them like this. We no. have to have them just take no. them off totally and wait till we get there, which who knows when that would be. Yeah. So, yeah, we just went ahead and replaced mm -hmm. them and kept the broken ones. And when we get through there, we'll have to go by there and just get the Just because you right buy ones. a new truck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like we said. Don't mean it's gonna be problem free, I'm telling That's you. That's right, that's right. Yeah, it happens. But yeah, we're gonna close this one out, guys. We don't have another load lined up yet. Nothing. We'll see what happens. Hopefully we can get something over the weekend, and if not, we'll be in California for the weekend. So stay tuned for the next vlog to find out what happens. Cool. <laughs> Thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing. And till our next video. Peace, love, and expediting. And pillow.